Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. We're heard right here on the Impact Lounge. I have my own YouTube channel. It's the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. The Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Please go ahead and check it out. Lots of content on there. Lots of interviews. Indie stars. Legend in professional wrestling. Lots of great content. Check it out. Please head on over there and subscribe. The Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Okay, the big mystery going into this week's edition of Impact Wrestling this Tuesday is who is going to be Jordan Grace's partner. That is still a mystery. We thought she was going to be teamed with Tennille Dashwood, uh, but at Turning Point, that team didn't quite work out. And that team did not happen. I initially thought they were going to form a team. They were going to team up um, Jordan Grace and Tennille Dashwood. And I thought they were going to, even though they're enemies, I thought they were going to win the whole thing. Uh, but I'm kind of glad that didn't happen because I wasn't, uh, wasn't feeling that. We all know who I'm feeling to win the, the tournament, but I'm not going to go into that right now. But, uh, but Jordan Grace left without a partner. Tennille Dashwood, actually, uh, she's chose uh, Alicia Edwards as her partner and uh, Jordan Grace no partner and she has a match coming up uh, I think the match is coming up this week actually and we're going to find out who her mystery partner is so the big question is who is her mystery partner she was on the phone talking to somebody on the last episode of Impact Wrestling and uh, somebody that's retiring and uh, that Jordan Grace is talking to she she mentioned um, I, I know you're retiring I don't remember it word for word but I Along the lines, I know you're retiring, but I'm glad you're coming back to be my partner. And Jordan Grace looked very excited. So let's let's think about it. Who's going to be Jordan Grace's partner? Let, let's run down some names. There are two names that are at the top of my list that, that I think that it could be. And uh, let's go with the first name I'm thinking that I'm hoping for. This is the person I want the most. This is the person I want the most to, to be her partner. And it's um, Lefisto. Lefisto up here in Canada. Uh, Lefisto teamed with Jordan Grace's Team Pog, uh, P A W G, and uh, they were a great tag team. And you think if Jordan Grace is going to call is going to call anybody to come down and be her partner, she would be calling a former partner to come on down and um, stand by her side as they attempt to go after the uh, Knockouts Tag Team Title. So that's that's she's at the top of my list. That's who I want the most. But I, I'm kind of thinking that, that that's a long shot, really. Uh, if you go on Twitter, uh, Lufisto does talk about it. Uh, she is um, very appreciative that everybody is, is hoping it's her and that people are still showing love for Team Pog. And uh, she has um, tweeted about it, uh, but she has also denied it. She's also denied that it's her. And, uh, well, it's professional wrestling. She's not going to come out and say, yes, it's her. You know, that'll spoil the surprise. So, naturally, she's going to have to deny it. But uh, I, I do think it's a long shot, though. Even though I do want Lefisto more than anybody in the world to be Jordan Grace's partner, I do think it is a bit of a long shot. Second name that's on my list, that the person that I think is going to be her partner, the, the woman that I think is going to be teaming up with Jordan Grace is going to be Madison Rain. That's who I'm picking to be Jordan Grace's partner. Again, I want Lefisto more than anybody. Yeah, I know there's a lot of people out there that want Lefisto, but I really think it's going to be Madison Rain. And I think it's Madison Rain because Madison Rain recently re recently retired from indie wrestling. Uh, she made her announcement. It was last September. She had her last uh, independent uh, wrestling match. And she's not doing much wrestling on Impact right now. She's doing mainly announcing with Josh Matthews. And um, I would, ex would expect that she's looking to step away from, from active wrestling altogether and possibly just doing the announcing thing. Because uh, like I said, we haven't seen her, haven't seen her much. And uh, who knows, maybe uh, it's, she'll come out and announce her retirement and saying that this tournament is the last time we'll see her in the ring, that she'll announce her retirement during, this, um, during the knockouts uh, tag team t tournament, which would mean if she does come out and, and announce that, that, that it's, it will basically be a surefire bet that Jordan Grace and Madison Rain will win the knockouts tag team titles, then they would have to uh, 
then Madison Rain would retire, and they would have to um, forfeit uh, the titles, in, w- in th- which then you know, Tasha Steeles and Kara Hogan could come in and become the new champions. If if that's the case, uh, if if that's the case, if she, if she does come down and announce her retirement, that this is the, that the tournament is the last time we'll see her in an Impact Wrestling ring, then like I said, sure bet that that Jordan Grace and Madison Rain will win the tag team titles. But uh, that's my pick. That's my pick. I'm I'm going with Madison Rain. Madison Rain to, to be the one. I know it's it's not that uh, that that really big of a deal. I mean, I think and I I do believe everybody out there that's listening right now does agree with me that you do want it to be somebody different. That you do want it to be Lefisto. And I, if it is Lefisto, I will just go nuts. I will I will just I, I'd go nuts. And I want to hear your opinions on Lefisto. Leave, leave some opinions in the comment section of this podcast. Let me know how you feel about Lefisto and how you feel about Madison Rain as well. Now I've been I've been seeing online a lot of people have uh, been predicting that it's going to be Kylie Ray because Kylie Ray has retired from from professional wrestling. It's not Kylie Ray. It's not going to be Kylie Ray. If if Impact Wrestling brought Kylie Ray back. After everything that she's gone through, after after um, deleting all her social media ac- accounts, after um, the whole Patreon thing where she where she owes money and she needs to refund a, a bunch of money uh, to um, some some paying customers, I, I, I believe that's what uh, she she um, I do or she's gonna. I'm not exactly I, with the Patreon thing. I think she she has to refund a lot of money. Uh, I don't I, I don't think Impact Wrestling would would turn this into a storyline. And if they did turn this in, into a storyline, this would be a really low point for Impact Wrestling. So it's not Kylie Ray. They're not bringing Kylie Ray back. I, I thought about it for a bit, and I mentioned it at BQ, but he, he pointed out it would be really, really, really low. And I agree. It would be really low for them to turn this this whole um, unfortunate Kylie Ray uh, situation into a storyline. So it's it's not Kylie Ray. And I, another person I hope it's not, I hope it's not ODB. <laughs> I hope it's not ODB. I hope they don't decide. Oh, we're gonna bring ODB back like every 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 year, once once or twice a year. We're gonna bring OD, ODB back. I I would be very upset if it's ODB. I'm not the biggest ODB fan. I'm sure there are people out there that do like ODB, but I'm not the biggest fan uh, of ODB. So I hope it's not ODB. Uh, two other names that I, I was thinking possibly Jazz, possibly Jazz. Jazz recently retired from from professional wrestling. Uh, now I know uh, Jordan Grace on the phone saying I heard you're retiring, and Jazz is actually retired, but Jazz did mention that she wanted to have a farewell tour, uh, but due to COVID nineteen she was un- she was unable to, so you know Jazz is another possibility, uh, unlikely, but Jazz is another possibility, and another name I want to throw out there possibly. Uh, that it could be is Taylor Wilde. I know she's retired as well, but she had talked that she wanted to come back, so that's another possibility as well. But if I was a betting man, if I was in Vegas right now and um, I, I saw the odds and I had a hundred dollars to spend, uh, I get to pick anybody I want and spend a hundred dollars. I, <laughs> I, I. Whatever I had in my pocket, uh, could be a hundred, could be two hundred. I'd bet on Madison Rain. I'd bet that it's going to be Madison Rain, and I wouldn't be surprised. Like I said, if she comes in, retires, says that, says that she's retiring from professional wrestling, she's making the announcement, and this tournament is going to be the last time we see her in the ring. And thus, Jordan Grace and Madison Rain would would go ahead and and um, win the knockouts. Uh, tag team titles and Madison Rain would leave professional wrestling triumphantly as a champion so that's that's what I'm predicting is going to happen but uh, let me know your thoughts let me know your thoughts on what you think is going to happen again um, just feel free to comment um, let me know what you think all right well that's it for me today I am Lewis Carlin this is the Impact Lounge you're listening to Shooting Up North and until next time thank you very much take care bye bye stay safe everyone so long bye bye